Is the Big Green Egg worth the money? Do you mean the grill that costs three times as much as a nice gas grill and double a nice smoker? Do you mean the grill that has legions of fans online that do nothing but talk smack to other inferior grill owners? Or do you mean the grill that is literally a vending machine meant to sell you accessories? Is that grill worth the money? Would I buy it again? Yeah, I would. Before I tell you why, we gotta go to the store and get some ribs. Why are you singing Christmas songs? It's not Christmas time. So I did my first green egg review a year ago. It was a month after I had the grill for the first time. My feelings on it were still mixed. And I will tell you that 12 months later, I like this grill a lot more. It's a great grill, it's a great oven, and it's a great smoker if you know how to use it. And 30 days in, I had no idea how to smoke barbecue on it. And there was a definite learning curve going from an offset stick burner, which is what I was used to cooking on, to going to a more vertically integrated smoker like the green egg is. Got too much smoke on my smoker out here. Gotta calm that thing down. All right, so we got the smoker sitting right at 250. I just want some of this smoke to clean up. I wanna get that nice thin blue line before we put the ribs on. We don't want any dirty smoke on there. Uh, the second thing I really like about this green egg a year after having it is learning about the warranty. Now, if you crack the base of this thing because you're dumb, it's not covered under warranty, but if for some reason you're cooking, say you get it up to 900 degrees and there's a manufacturer's defect and the thing breaks apart, they're gonna replace it for you. And I love a company that stands by their quality like that. Now you pay for it, but I love a company that does that. And the last thing that I love about this green egg is cost of ownership. Now, to get into this thing, like this unit right here, it's about, I wanna say 1500 bucks. Now, that's a crazy amount of money for any grill, I'm not gonna lie, it is, it is a lot. But the thing is, is it's such a high quality grill that it's gonna last a really, really long time as long as you take care of it. And so what that means is that every single month you own it, the cost of ownership goes down just a little bit more. So to do a little bit of math here, the first month I owned it, that was a $1,200 grill. The second month it was a $600 grill. The third month it was a $300 grill per month to own, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And it goes all the way down. So now we're sitting at like $100 a month. You know, after another year of using it and not having to pay for it, it's gonna go down even more. So you pay for the quality up front once and then it's great. But even though I really like this grill and I definitely don't regret owning it, there's still some downsides to it even a year later. Got our temperature right where we want it. Thin blue line of smoke. Ready to put some meat on. Can you find my face here? There's no better smell than blue smoke. But even so, I probably should not stand right there. So yeah, so after a year of owning this thing, there's still three things that I'm, I'm not a big fan of. Uh, thing number one is the general size of these things. You can see in that picture, I could barely get one rack of ribs on this. Now you can buy more accessories to make them stand up and hack the system and yada yada. And I know there's the extra large and all that, but you would think if you're paying this much money for a cooker, it'll be able to do a lot more than it does. So size is a big issue. I don't wanna have to buy a mini max and a XL and a double XL. I, it's too much. I want one grill. I want it to do it all. And I want it to be a decent size. It doesn't feel like a lot to ask for. It's cold, I'm going back inside. All 
All right, ribs have been on the smoker three hours. Time to take them off and wrap them in foil. All right, look at these ribs. Three hours on, beautiful red color, coming along nicely. So now what I'm gonna do is just lay them bone side up, and then I'm gonna wrap these guys back in the smoker for two more hours. And I wanted to say the next thing that I wasn't a big fan of with the egg after a year, and that's the size of the thing. It's so stinking heavy. You know, my wife and I are thinking about maybe moving back to Cincinnati, and I can't even imagine trying to put this thing on a truck and ship it five hours north. I just... These guys are wrapped, back on the smoker for two more hours. And the last thing that I really haven't been able to get over with the egg is just the number of accessories and the price in the mall. I mean, I alluded to it earlier in the video. Somebody called it out in a comment on my last video. It really is a ATM for uh, the accessories. I get that the company has to make a profit, but the, the thing should come with a bare minimum of what you need to make it happen, like this stand, these side tables here, the ceramic cooker plate in there. Without that, you can't barbecue at all. So to me, you gotta at least include all of that in the base price. Um, I get if you don't wanna include all the fancy like egg lighters and you could at least include this. Like, that would work. I don't know. Two more hours on the smoker. And then we'll be almost done. It was light when I started this process. Barbecue, low and slow, it's no joke. Our ribs are done cooking in the wrap, so we're gonna unwrap them, sauce them, and then one more hour on the smoke. And every 15 minutes now, we're gonna sauce them every time. After that, we're gonna be ready to eat. All right, so like I said, ribs are an hour out now. Every 15 minutes, we're gonna be hitting it with that barbecue sauce. And so how do we know when they're done? Well, we take our tongs, we're gonna slide them down the end, pick them up, and as long as we get a 90 degree bend, we're good to go. It's cold as hell outside. Somebody asked me if big green eggs worked in cold weather. The answer is yes. Uh, they will work in whatever weather. Yeah, boy, it's so cold. Green eggs will work in whatever weather you can deal with. Timer just rang. Time to sauce the ribs. God, I am getting tired. I am too old. You know, the reason we sauce the ribs at the end is because it's going to create this like candy coating, essentially. The, the sweet barbecue sauce lays on there and then the heat comes up and hits it and evaporates all the moisture out of it, leaving behind a really concentrated, sweet, powerhouse that's been infused with smoke flavor. I don't know the chemistry behind it. It's just all that smokiness is just delicious. Finally made it. It's, it's, I don't even know what time it is anymore. I started this process way too late. Look at these things. Let's see if these ribs are as good as the ribs I used to make on my offset stick burner with Lyle's barbecue. I love the smoke ring on these. The juice coming out is perfect. Oh my gosh. You know that egg, a couple other things I really like about it. Charcoal, we've been smoking all afternoon into the late night. I haven't had to add more charcoal to it one time. Great with fuel management. My old stick burner used to blow through wood like it was going out of style. So uh, Rob Ott asked uh, me to be honest, is it a ripoff? Uh, if I found a $1,200 bill and I was in the the market for a grill, would I buy the big green egg? Answer is yes, I definitely would. If you're looking for a big green egg and you got plenty of disposable income, and I know not everybody's in that position, 
But if you do, and you're looking for it, and you're worried about, is it gonna be worth it, yada yada, it's 100% worth it, you're gonna love it. Y'all know I'm from Kentucky, and Kentuckians know how to barbecue. I don't care what anybody says. And one of the best things we do in Kentucky is bourbon. And if you wanna know how to make the best bourbon barbecue sauce in the world, click this video right here. Not gonna regret it. I am gonna eat the rest of these ribs though.